So today we're going to focus on section 10, the hem. And in our little sweater here, the hem is very short. Um, it's this little part down here. So we finished the entire body. We finished the sleeves and the cuffs. And the only two things remaining are the hem and the neckline. So for the hem today, um, we're going to pick up stitches from around the entire sweater and we're going to work top down in two by two ribbing. So this two by two hem that we're going to work is more of an extension of the body than it is um, ribbing that should that is meant to draw in. So I'm going to continue working with my main color and also my main needle size. Um, because I'm working this tiny little version, I can't really use um, circulars. Um, I could do it with the magic loop method, but I prefer to use the pins. But for your full size sweater, you um, go back to the main circular needles that you used for the body. Because the hem is worked top down versus the body that is worked sideways, um, we have to make sure that the stitch gauge of the hem matches the row gauge of the body. And to do that, um, we pick up stitches at a rate of about three stitches picked up from every four rows worked in the body. Um, and we also kind of have to make sure that we have a stitch count when you finish that is divisible by four or a multiple of four to make sure we can work two by two ribbing in the round. To pick up the stitches, I, um, I start at the right side seam. So when you hold your sweater with the right side facing you, so right side out and also the front facing you, on the right edge is this side seam and this is where I start. You can start anywhere else but I prefer starting at the sides. And I'm going to pick up um, my first stitch right here after the side seam. So I'm going to insert my right hand needle through both loops of this edge stitch that we had. So that's the edge stitch that we worked in the body where we knit the last stitch every row and purled the first uh, stitch of every wrong side row. And that's what we're going to use now to pick up stitches from. So I'm inserting my needle through both legs of this stitch. That's the pick up part and the end knit part of pick up and knit is this. So I'm going to pull a loop through onto my right hand needle. And I'm repeating that with the next edge stitch over. So I'm going to just insert the needle you don't have to make signs of it, it's just somewhere here. Pick up and knit. So that's the second one. And I'm going to make another third one. Pick up and knit from the next stitch over. So I have from the three, three edge stitches that are right next to each other. And then I'm going to skip this edge stitch here and I'm going to pick up my next stitch from the one over. So I'm skipping this one and I'm picking my next stitch, um, next stitch up from the one over. And that means I've picked up three stitches from every four rows worked. You'll have the exact numbers to pick up in the pattern. Um, and they are already adjusted to make sure that you pick up the right number of stitches from, from the rows and also um, to make sure you have um, those um, stitches at the end that are a uh, multiple of four. So one, I always like count one, two, three, skip, one, two, one, two, three, I try not to split the yarns here. Three and skip. Three and skip. So what you'll see when you spread out the stitches onto your needles, you'll be able to see that they group um, naturally into um, sets of three. So that tells you that you've done done it right, that you have 
um, there's three stitches picked up from every four rows uh, and when we then continue knitting these will spread out more evenly across the row. The stitch count in your pattern tells you how many stitches to pick up in total and also per quarter and the quarter refers to um, so the the sweater has kind of four quarters because there is a side seam on each side and then there is the um, cast on and pick up line in the front and back. So one quarter would be from one side seam to one cast on and then from the cast on to the next side seam is another quarter. Um, and that makes it easier to, um, to have a bit of um, control over how many stitches you've picked up and to make sure they're like even evenly spread across the entire sweater and I'm just going to continue working like that until I have picked up stitches from the entire circumference of the sweater I've picked up stitches from around the entire sweater and um, so what happens when you pick up three stitches from every four rows is that it might not match up with the um, multiple of four kind of uh, need. Um, so what I would suggest is um, in doubt, if in doubt, like pick up one stitch too many um, and then work a decrease in the next row, in the first um, two by two ribbing row, um, instead of um, picking up like not f if you have a longer length and then not pick up from there anymore because you already have like a stitch count um, because that will leave a hole so it's better to pick up like an extra stitch here and there and then make um, like put a marker in there and um, make an increase in the next round um, so what you'll see when you pick up the stitches is that those edge stitches lie now um, on the inside after uh, behind the needle right after those stitches we picked up and right next to the knit stitches of the wrong side so um, both legs because we picked up from both legs of the stitch to make this nice little chain here um, and then you can place a marker and, and then you can start working in two by two ribbing which means um, knit two purl two around the um, around the entire row um, until you reach the either like your desired length or the length um, that is in the pattern. This sweater has a very very long um, hem so it's like 10 centimeters long and that is just because it's my like preference design wise uh, and I like the look of it but if you prefer a long a, a shorter length um, this isn't like a super easy way to shorten your sweater. So you can go with like a longer body and then a shorter hem and then you have like an in-between length that you like custom created for yourself. I'm working with double pointed needles and you're probably not. So what I suggest to you do is place a marker before you continue with the first row of your um, two by two ribbing. But if you're working with double pointed needles and your beginning and end of row is between two needles, the easiest way to mark it is to place the tail end of your yarn on the outside and then you know whenever you reach the tail end that this is where the, row, um, the round starts again. So let's work in two by two ribbing. Um, for this hemline. I've just finished the last round of my ribbing. Um, it looks rather short, but that is because it's a tiny little sample version. Um, so yours should be substantially longer than this, um, or not, if you prefer shorter hem. Um, you're the masters of your own knitting. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to bind off in pattern. And that is the same that I've already done with the cuffs as well. Um, but here I really want to make sure that it's not too tight and not too loose. So you knit all the knit stitches and then you pass 
first stitch over the second and then you purl a purl stitch and pass over. If you're prone to too tight of a bind off, um, you want to make sure that it's not too tight and the easiest way to do that is to go up the, with the needle size for the bind off. Um, if you prefer, you can also use a different method for binding off those stitches. After binding off the last stitch, break the yarn and pull the tail end through the last stitch to secure it. And that is the body of the sweater finished. As you can see here, the ripped hem is really an extension of the body versus the cuffs that stand out more um, that are um, also in 2x2 two two ripping, but they're in contrast. Um, and they're also knit with, uh, with a small needle size to make them a little more tight. So this really shouldn't be um, drawing in too much um, and it will be blocked out later to make um, really match the um, length and width of the sweater. So one last section remaining and then we're done with the sweater.